didn't say no. Why? If I tell you something, will you promise not to repeat it? No, no, I, I mean it. It's kind of personal and I, you know, I need to know that it's not going to go any further. Yeah, I promise. When I was about Matilda's age, I went to this beach party and a guy that I liked kept giving me drinks. I got drunk and ended up in the back of his panel van. And things went further with a boy that I, I thought cared about me a whole lot more than he actually did. Oh, I can still remember how shattered I was when I found out how he, how he really felt and it took me a long time to trust guys again and I, I didn't completely, not until I met Flynn. So he does have at least one good point. You know, I'm not telling you this to try and make you feel guilty. But in, in the same way that I want you to try and see Flynn's point of view, I, I'd also like you to have a think about what last night might have meant to Matilda. Because I have a feeling that she could be seeing things a whole lot differently to you. Good morning. Hi. Who is it? Private investigators. Can you believe it? Hi, I am so sorry. I'm late. I'm over a surf this morning. My watch stopped. What are you doing Some drugs went missing yesterday. You're kidding. And the drug cupboard wasn't broken into, so it's got to be someone who works here. Which means we're all going to get the third degree. What was taken? Dexamphetamine. Take a seat. Okay, I'll be right round. Anna wants these now, back in a tick. If you've got something to say, say it. Dexamphetamines, it's a pretty big coincidence. Well, it's a coincidence, that's all. So it wasn't you? No, and I resent the question. Well, I don't like asking it, but... Yesterday, when the boss had you under a microscope, Flynn, you went from being super stressed to, like, impressing the hell out of her. Because I know how important that assessment was, and I sucked myself into it. He said, with a strong coffee. And that's all, OK? And I'm not taking this stuff anymore. I don't need it, and I certainly didn't steal it. Flynn, I have had friends who reckon that they didn't have a problem. How dare you say I've got a problem? But you didn't... You don't know what you're talking about, so would you keep your mouth shut? The last thing I need is those two investigators in there getting the wrong idea because you're playing psych detective Freud. Sorry, Doctor. Being principal, I thought you should know. I'm glad that you told me. As a friend, too. I'll keep an eye on things. Speak of the devil. Do you want me to get the message across? Thanks anyway, but I think I can handle it. I'd like to have a word with you. Yeah, I thought you might. I've told Matilda I don't want her to see you anymore, and I want you to keep your distance from her. Is that clear? Yeah, it is. Good. Please, don't put me on. No luck? According to her, everyone uses that excuse to get out of jury duty. I hate to say it, but I think you're fighting a losing battle. Oh, yeah, but it's not fair. Flipping jury duty, I could be stuck in the city for weeks. Uh, yeah, hello? Uh, can you just hang on for a sec, please? Sorry, love. Don't worry. I'll meet you at the shops after work. Okay. Yeah, sorry. David, hon, I've just heard it from your mum. Then you're gonna hear it from me too. Oh, go home. Look, just stay away from my sister. If you get her in trouble one more time, I'm gonna be in your face. Whose step plan are you gonna use? Stay away from my sister, or you're gonna regret it. Nurse McAllister, please. You're next in the firing line? Sorry? Well, they gave me a list of who they want to see, and you're next. Well, why aren't they interviewing everyone? They are. The list just says in what order. Oh, right. <sighs> Did you have any reason to go into the drug room yesterday, other than for those drugs you've signed for here? Nope. Did you at any time leave the keys unattended or give them to someone else? No. 
Did you see anyone loitering in the vicinity who had no reason to be there? No. Do you know who did it? No. You're not so sure about that one? Yeah. Then why the pause? Well, it wasn't a question I was expecting. If I'd known, I would have said. Do you know any staff member who uses dexamphetamine? No. Is, is that all? No, it's not. This is a very serious investigation, so I was giving you some time to think. You're not going to be doing yourself, or anyone else, any favours by keeping things from us. They break out the rubber hoses. Oh, the phone books? Oh, well, they know their stuff. They didn't leave a mark on you. Sorry the way that I spoke to you before, I shouldn't have. It's coming to you as a friend. Yeah, and I appreciate that. So what did they say? Meaning what did I say? Yeah, I guess. Nothing about the fact that you've used dexamphetamines. Thank you, Zoe. Dr Saunders, we're ready for you. Yeah, give me a minute to finish this off. I'll be right in. I hope you're telling the truth, Flynn. Because now there's two careers riding on this. I am. So you can't think of anyone on the staff who might want to steal amphetamines? Mm, not that I know of. But, you know, it gets pretty full on around here, so there's not a lot of time to sit back and watch. <laughs> you must thrive on it, though. You, uh, you work a lot of shifts. Whenever I'm needed. You need it a lot. It's uh, oh, four days off in the last six weeks. It's new, new mortgage, you know how it is. Yeah. New family, too, I hear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably been coming to work to try and get some sleep. <laughs> uh, my little one's pretty good. Oh, I feel like. Thing is, though, um, looking at these duty rosters, 